Hey girls, today I want to show you a really cool trick if you haven't already seen it, how to do a cut crease. Now I'm going to experiment with you for the first time. So what you'll need is a plastic spoon and I'm going to take palette number four. I think this would be a fun one to try this with. So the colors I think I'm going to use today is I'm going to use Brave, Arrogant, and Tender from this um, palette. So let's just see what we can come up with. So take your spoon and you're gonna lay it on your eye. And I'm gonna take a very thin brush and go um, on the darkest color. So you're gonna start and go darkest to light. So I am gonna take the color Brave and I'm gonna outline the spoon. And of course, the sun just went away and I lost my light. So just trace that spoon with that dark color. Okay, next I'm going to take a little thicker brush and I'm going to use the color Arrogant and go above that. And next, I'm going to take Tender and go above that. And blend. I'm going to go back and take the darkest color and outline it one more time in Brave. And I am just going to go back in and follow the same steps. Arrogant. And then tender the light one. And blend. Okay, so you can see that's a nice crease because of the spoon. Next, I am going to take um, kind of a, a fluffy flat brush. I'm going to spray it with rose water. And I think I am going to use, um, I want a nice shiny shade to set that off. So I'm going to use Brassy from palette one. So I wet my brush with rose water. It's going to just give it a more um, vibrant color and I am just going to tap it underneath my crease that I have made. And just tap that color in. And if you need more, just squirt. I'm going to go right back into Brassy. Just adding a little rose water can totally change the color. Okay, now I'm going to go back in. And since I have 
you know, you're gonna smudge it a little. So I'm gonna go back in with my very small brush, back into Brave, my dark color, and just sharpen up that crease. And I'm going to take Tender the Light and just kind of blend it upwards. And there you have it. A cut crease using a spoon. How cool is that? So stay tuned. I'll show you how to finish that off with eyeliner.